I'm on a little morning hike in Colombia and I'm thinking a little bit about how travel is different when you're a bit older. Right now I'm 39. I will be 40 next year. Oh my God. Uh, but I started traveling when I was younger. Uh, and I'm not sure where to put like the start of my travel career, but let's say when it was when I was 17 and I went solo for the first time to another continent. And that was super scary. <laughs> And I'm thinking a little bit about how things were then and how things are now. And what actually got me to think about this is a book I'm reading right now, which is called uh, The Body um, Guide for Occupants by Bill Bryson. Now, Bill Bryson actually rose to fame as a travel writer. And uh, if you haven't heard of him, check out his uh, travel logs. They're pretty fun to read. They're kind of from like the 80s now or something like that, but uh, or most of the books that he published on travel, but they're really fun. Uh, now he's more like a popular science writer. And this book I'm reading right now has a lot of interesting facts about, uh, yeah, how, how your body functions, but also how your body is different at um, different stages. And this, this, what I'm gonna talk about is actually not like physical fitness. It's about your mind. <laughs> because as it turns out, like your brain is is fully like complete by the time you're adult or like when you're 18 or whatever it is. Uh, but the synapses in your brain are not complete yet until like your late 20s. Your mind has not fully formed, which is very interesting. It's only like 70 or 80% there. And everything is like chemically imbalanced until you get to your 30s. Um, everything is off. Um, you get way more dopamine from everything in your 20s or in your teenage years, uh, which explains a little bit why certain travel experiences can be different when you are younger. And I used to always ascribe this to experience. Like, okay, I wasn't experienced yet in my 20s. When I went for the first time to your destination, I went to Japan for the first time or went there for the first time. And so things make a bigger impact on you, right? So things are more exciting, but maybe it's not just experience. Maybe it's also just your brain chemistry. Ah, makes sense, right? You get way more dopamine. So you're like a dopamine junkie in your 20s. You're getting these hits of, um, you know, pleasure hormones or whatever. And that makes everything a little bit more exciting. So that's an argument to actually travel as much as you can in your 20s because things will just have a bigger impact on you. But when I think back to my early travels, the negative shit also had a bigger impact. Like if I was traveling solo and I've done many solo trips, um, if I did that in my 20s, and for whatever reason, I would feel really alone at some point, like sometimes, you know, things don't work out very well and it just doesn't feel that much fun on a given day, then that would really like affect me. I would feel that a lot. I would be like, oh shit, I'm just going through this again. Just calm down and, you know, next day will be better. <laughs> like that kind of thing, like the ups and downs of solo travel very big. Now, I don't give a shit anymore, um, which again, may be partly due to experience, but it could also be brain chemicals, <laughs> right? So this is actually the, the biggest thing that I think is different uh, when you travel when you're older. Um, the, the waves are not as like big, they're just more like this. So on this trip, for example, the really exciting stuff it really makes me st still feel very excited. So on this trip, for example, I saw some humpback whales uh, breaching on the Pacific coast of Colombia and I'd never seen that before. So that maybe is an experience thing, but also it was just like inherently exciting. Like if I see that again tomorrow, I'll probably just be uh, as excited because holy crap, a whale. And I definitely feel that. But other things may not be as exciting immediately 
So things are a little bit more like modulated, what you call it, a little bit more regulated. So there's advantages to that and there's disadvantages to that. I think one of the advantages is that uh, as an older traveler, I feel a lot more confident and just chill. That may, that is actually an experience thing, I think. So, uh, you know, I used to worry about getting scammed and like not, you know, getting the bus on time and t -t -t whatever things were like worrying me uh, when I was traveling in my 20s. Now, I just don't really care. It's all, it's all gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. And so that's actually really nice. That's an upgrade because I'm not so distracted by like other stuff, like worrying about the logistics or, or other things during my trip. I can just go like, huh, maybe I'll go there. And I know how all this works and I'll be fine when I get there. And you know, it's just a nice, a certain calmness that I feel as an older and more experienced traveler. And, and yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I think the confidence also allows me to go to places or, uh, that maybe I wouldn't have chosen to, to go to back in the day. Uh, I remember the first time I went to Thailand, I tried to go off the beaten track and I ended up in this town, I can't remember the name, but it's, it's by a lake in the north of Thailand. And maybe now I would have enjoyed it a lot, but I felt very disappointed in it at the time. Maybe it was not what I was seeking, being a bit younger, I wanted to have more, you know, more, a more lively scene perhaps. This was a very sleepy place. And um, now I'm going to a lot of sleepy places actually, and I'm really enjoying it. Like I like quiet towns and things like that. I like nature experiences, although I always like nature experiences. But yeah, that has shifted a little bit. Another thing that quite obviously changes is the nightlife. So I went, actually, there's an eight, eight year uh, gap between this trip in Colombia and my previous trip in Colombia. And so the previous time I was 31. And actually, I was loving the nightlife in this previous trip. And I was, you know, uh, I was going to bars, I was going to clubs. In Medellin, I even stayed a bit longer to enjoy the light, uh, nightlife more. I was, or I was also single at the time, so I was dating and, and things like that. And I stayed up late as well. And now I find that I don't do any of those things, <laughs> uh, which is not so surprising. Like, I don't give a shit about nightlife anymore. If, if people are like, hey, uh, let's have beers and, you know, talk about travel and whatever, I will definitely be up for that. If, um, if there's some local situation, like there's a bar where people are playing pool or something like that, and like, um, you know, in these little towns in Colombia, there's all these cowboys wearing cowboy hats. And like, if there's like a, a thing going on, like a, a, a mood that I want to be part of, that will motivate me to have drinks and stuff like that. But I don't go out. <laughs> I don't go out. Uh, what, what has also changed, and this is from the last couple of years, and I don't know if that's an age thing or just like this is just different. I don't know. Um, jet lag has been really in my favor over the last four or five years. So <laughs> I used to uh, not get a lot of sleep. Um, I used to go out more and then do things in the morning and, you know, get the bus at seven and whatever, and maybe also do overnight travel. Uh, now, on my most recent trips to Asia and to Latin America. So it doesn't matter if I go east or west, uh, the, the uh, jet lag makes me a morning person. So normally in, at home, I'm not a morning person at all. I'm a night owl. I hate, absolutely hate getting up in the morning. It's the worst part of life. But when I'm like in these, on these trips, I turn into a morning person, which is kind of funny. Like, I've been waking up with the light on this trip in Colombia. So I wake up at like six or 6.30, which is insanity. I never do that, but I've fallen into that pattern here and I fall asleep at maybe 10. Um, and so by default, I miss out kind of everything that happens at night. 
Um, but it's kind of been nice because I get to go up and I get to see these places with like the or early morning mist and I'm no longer cranky when I have to get the, the first bus in the morning because man, I'm already, I'm already up. And this has been a big change as well. It didn't used to be the case. And I wonder if that's because I'm older or just because, yeah, maybe the pattern has changed. So yeah, I do wake up with the light because uh, I'm, not, I'm not as tired. Hmm. Yeah, some things I think are a little bit exaggerated about getting older. So, uh, I do hear from people sometimes that they're like, oh, I used to be able to do this and now I'm a broken person. Like, my body is like abandoning me and I'm like, yeah, I think that's a little bit, it depends on your health, I guess. I feel more fit now actually than I did maybe five or 10 years ago. I don't know if that's just perception or, or reality. <laughs> But uh, or maybe been just been working out a little bit more. Um, but I don't think that like you know stuff is harder, except maybe just drinking and going out and stuff like that, which is why yeah, yeah, I also don't care about it. Um, so maybe that's yeah. I think that's a, uh, that aspect is actually better than I thought it would be when I was in my twenties. Like I thought I would have to. I would be tired all the time and stuff like that and yeah yeah I get a little bit more tired sometimes but you know I do all these really long hikes and uh, I even push myself a little bit more like I, I feel like I travel a bit faster than I used to actually I was a bit lazier when I was in my 20s also maybe now because I'm a travel blogger I'm, I have that extra motivation to keep going and and gather more experiences um, but yeah, I feel like I'm leaning in quite a bit more than I used to, but maybe that's also circumstances. Anyway, that's just a couple of thoughts on how uh, my travels at least have changed a little bit as I've gotten older. Uh, I do feel a lot of like what my change is based on circumstances. So if you're in your late thirties as I am now, or maybe in your forties and you have a family and I, I do have a daughter now. Uh, she's not on this trip, which makes things a lot easier. Like I think that will tire you out. That might be what a lot of people are talking about. Like, oh, I feel so tired now. It's probably because you have a family to take care of. That's, that's a huge uh, extra responsibility and it makes travel uh, more tiring, I think. So a lot can be ascribed to that. Um, and uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, I think some things change, other things don't change so much. My interests have gotten a bit more niche, so I like the the weird off the beaten track places a lot more these days. Uh, yeah, I don't go out that much, uh, but I still feel like um, like like uh, I've got the energy and I've got the confidence now that I may not have had at age 17. <laughs> Actually, I had zero confidence at A17. That trip was horrible, that first intercontinental trip. Um, so yeah, just a few thoughts. Um, maybe you recognize a few things, maybe not. Maybe uh, you think uh, things are very different. Um, let me know in the comments. And uh, I would say though, going back to Bill Bryson, uh, that, that if you have any choice, travel in your 20s, because everything is a bit more exciting and I think probably because you're just, you're chemically just out of order, um, you also make stupider decisions. <laughs> and stupid decisions can be fun. They uh, generate stories. So, uh, you know, you might end up sleeping on the floor somewhere or whatever, like uh, that's the things you do when you're traveling in your twenties and uh, you got no money. Ah, that's another thing that changes, money. Yeah, I got a bit more money now. So like, I don't care as much about every single like, little bit I spend on a trip as long as it kind of evens out at the end and you know I can afford some nicer accommodation although honestly I'm still a budget traveler I, I don't want to overspend on anything either so yeah maybe I'm in the flashbacker zone now um, that's it my thoughts on this matter 
that I've completely improvised. I was not prepared to take a video right now, but uh, uh, some thoughts popped into my head and I turned on the camera. All right, for more of this, subscribe. <laughs> more impromptu videos that are completely unscripted and unprepared. All right, see ya.